Oh, you guys remember me? Hello. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Oh my gosh. When was the last time? I'm literally gonna check while recording this when the last time I made a video was. But I made a video 10 months ago. Like that's insane. That's the longest I've ever been without recording anything. Um, and you guys, so much has happened. I have so much to fill you in on. Um, this is gonna be like a quick kind of update video because I am over one year on hormones. Um, very happily. Um, and just like a few things I want to update you on because it's been so, so long. So the first thing is I no longer work at Sephora. Um, I plan on making a whole separate video about this. Um, why I quit Sephora and why I work at Chanel now. So um, a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Um, I just want to say like I still love Sephora. Like that's I'll always be grateful for what I've learned at Sephora and what they've done for me. Next, I am seeing someone. Um, I've been dating my boyfriend for eight months now. Eight months? Um, it's going great. He is absolutely perfect. Um, it's just like when you meet that person, it's like that person, you know? Um, yeah, it's going really well. And hopefully in the future you'll meet him or see him around on my social media or anything. Um, yeah, that was really exciting. Um, no more fuckboys and Tinder and shit like that. Um, <laughs> it's weird to find, like, um, a guy, a, a man, <laughs> a man, not a little boy. It's, like, so refreshing. He's a little... Um, I got my phone back. Hello? That's, like, the reason why I stopped recording in the first place was that I broke my fucking... Mm, sorry. I still get passionate about him. Um, I broke my iPhone and I couldn't record anything, so have it back. I moved. That's a huge thing. I moved into a new house. Um, bought a new laptop, so your girl is gonna be coming with these videos. Don't even play, like, don't, no. You're not ready. They're not ready. My whole, like, absence, like, um, I would, like, be, like, looking at people's things, and, like, of course, like, I'm not a hater. I'm, like, you do you, girl. Like, go you. Um, anybody that, d like, goes after what they love, I can respect it. <sighs> you know what? I love my job, but... This is what I'm really passionate about, um, is like sharing my life and everything that I've learned and my mistakes and um, just everything like that, just sharing that with you guys um, and building that connection. I think I've never found anything like it. Um, yeah, so just be prepared, you guys. I'm back. I mean it. Like, I'm back. Like, before, you've never seen me like this your girl's back, so be prepared. Yeah, so let's get into the actual part of the video that you hopefully clicked on it for. Um, I am over a year on hormones. Um, I started hormones on February of 2015. Yeah, I can't remember, but it's been over a year. I have I was off of it for like a month. Um, I just felt like my anxiety was just like too much and I like had all this buildup of doing my shot because I do do the injection every two weeks. Um, yeah, I was just like building up all this anxiety before I did it and like it was really hard for me so I just took a break. Um, I talked to my doctor, they said that's fine. As long as I kept taking my spironolactone, I would still be okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm currently doing. I'm only taking my Spiro. Um, I'm going to be going back on my hormones in a little bit. Um, maybe going to pills first and then going back into my injections. Um, but the last time I spoke to my doctor, we were both really happy with the results we were seeing. Um, I feel like my skin has been, well, with hormones and skincare, <laughs> Um, and taking care of my skin. Um, it's the best it's ever been in my entire life. Um, I have one little fatty pimple right there, which is driving me insane. But other than that, like, my skin's doing good. And I'm very grateful for that. Um, my hair, that's another story. I damaged it. I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, my skin is still soft and smooth. Um, it's really hard after a year. I feel like... The changes really start to slow down and mainly I'm just like trying to live my life, you know? That's why like 
when I stopped filming and like doing everything, like not having my iPhone, I really took a step back and like um, took a break from social media and like really like I had to cut back because it was on this shitty Samsung phone and I couldn't do anything, like barely even text. Like I even lost contact with a lot of people because like I just, like it was like freezing all the time like and it was just a pain, I would just leave it in my purse, like not even touch it. Anyways, <laughs> like it really forced me to no longer be a spectator in my life. Um, I really was just watching all these vlogs, vlogs and like looking at people's social media, like it just consumed me. Like I was just watching everybody else's lives. I wasn't living my own life. And that's what I really wanna share with you guys. Like, yes, you can have those emotional connections with people like you watch on YouTube. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not just talking about me and you. I'm talking about like me watching with other people. Like you feel like that's your family. Like you feel like you watch them so much. Like you know them, that's your friend, you know? Um, but like, I just got a little bit too consumed in that and I felt like I wasn't really living my life for me. So that's what I did the past 10 months. I left Sephora. One thing I wanna stress to you guys, one thing, <laughs> really quick. My mom really put into my head when I was very young is that when you're not happy in a situation, do something about it. Get yourself out of the situation, do something. So I left Sephora. Um, and I did other changes in my life and I took people out of my life that no longer needed to be there. And I'm in such a great place right now. And I <laughs> try not to cry because I don't want to cry right now, but um, I'm just so grateful and I feel so blessed and I'm just very happy. Um, some of the other changes, um, really quickly, because like I said, you don't really see a lot after a year. Um, from what I'm told and what I've seen. Um, my breasts did get larger. They shrunk a little bit just because like I've been losing weight and like stopped my hormones. Like it's fucking with me a little bit. That's like what I miss the most. I still have, um, <laughs> my chest is still pretty full. I'm not gonna show you cause like, what do you think this is? But um, it's still pretty full. Um, my hips have gotten wider. I have more of that um, shape that um, hourglass shape, I've always had that kind of like body type, but it's just more accentuated. And there's like the fat moved in the right places. Oh, my nephew's home from school, I'll be right back. Yeah, so really guys, most of the changes for me personally were mainly mental, emotionally. Um, mood swings like normal. Um, now I feel a little bit more centered and more aware and more in control. Um, beginning hormones can be a little rough and you're like learning, you're going to puberty again. It's like a whole new experience. So um, I feel like I got a better grip on things. Things are settling. Um, sorry, I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically it. I wish I had more to share with you guys, but if you guys have any questions at all, comment them down below and I'll answer them. Um, about hormones, HRT, um, um, makeup, anything, just let me know. Um, yeah, that's it. I love you guys so, so, so much. All of my social media is down below, so make sure you follow me so we can keep in contact and stay friends. I love you guys so much, and remember to keep your happiness first. Bye, guys.